हेलो गाइस एंड वेलकम टू अनदर वीडियो ऑफ एन ऑटोमोटिव स्पॉट सो टुडे आई एम गोन एक्सप्लेन यू एंड टेल यू अबाउट द वर्किंग ऑफ अ स्टेयरिंग सिस्टम बेसिकली अ स्टेयरिंग सिस्टम इज अ वेल नोन सिस्टम यू नो इट बेटर दैट इट इज़ यूज टू गिव डायरेक्शन टू द वहीकल और गिव डायरेक्शन टू द टाइज टू टर्न द वहीकल इन योर डिजायर डायरेक्शन देर आर मैनी टाइप्स ऑफ स्टेयरिंग सिस्टम but the most common and the first one is the linkage type steering system in linkage type this one is the rack and pinion type steering system in which there is a small pinion and a rack moving along and just give the direction to the wheels transferring the direction of the steering wheel through different components to the wheels we will start from its parts here is the steering wheel and after steering wheel uh, there should be a universal joint and a steering column but here it is a model so the steering column and the universal joint are missing after that here is a small pinion this one is the rack the main housing these are the bellets or rubber boots which are used uh, basically there is a ball joint inside these rubber bellets which will transfer the direction in any angle you can see so these are the function of these bellets are that they prevent water and dust to damage or to corrode the ball joints and to uh, create more friction in the ball joints so these uh, tie rods are then further these tie rods are then further connected to the tie rod ends and which are further connected to the steering knuckle or the wheel hub the main part is the yoke which is located at the rear of this rack the main function of the yoke is to keep the pinion and the rack in mesh condition or to force them and prevent the backlash between the rack and the pinion now guys i will tell you about the working how it works so the driver just rotates the steering wheel this rotation is transferred to the steering column which is Uh, followed by a universal joint and the rotation just comes into this pinion this pinion is matched with this mesh with this rack and it will transfer this rotary motion into linear motion through the rack which will further transfer the motion of this rack into these tie rods as i told you earlier that these tie rods are then connected to that tie rod ends which are further connected to the steering knuckle or the wheel hub and in this way we can turn our vehicle in our desired direction that's a very common type of steering system and i don't think it's complicated uh, hope you like my video and waiting for your new topics to cover them give your suggestions in the comment down thanks and allah hafiz